already good skunk egg hunt. And my name's Dave Sheely. I'm a skunk ape researcher, skunk ape researcher. That's what I do. The skunk apes I've seen are approximately six feet to seven feet tall, and I've seen three covered with hair. I find tracks on a fairly regular basis. Very much like the Bigfoot, except they have four toes. Most Bigfoot tracks have five toes. Bigfoot uh, organizations uh, were calling me a hoax, an embarrassment, an embarrassment to the their field of research. David Shealy, he's come across that a couple times, I think. Anthropologists uh, refused to even comment on anything. I uh, talk with uh, old Dave Shealy. But the evidence that I've brought forth so far has really changed, turned people around. David Shealy, here they all about something. I've made a lot of non-believers, believers, believers. You get back out, and, and like I said, I've seen it. There's stuff that you've never seen. But he had convinced this gentleman over here that there was a real thing as a skunk egg. I was coming out to my tree stand, and that's when I, I noticed something walking from this hammock over here, walking down that tree line. And it took it quite a while. It was about seven, eight minutes. Kind of went in behind the trees there, and then it came out over there and started across this field. And when it got about where that palm tree is right there, that's when it started running. And it was about a foot and a half of water there. And uh, the thing was running as fast as a deer. Uh, that would be an impossibility for somebody with a suit or something like that to, to do that. And not only that, there's nobody out here. Nobody would do that. I carry a gun sometimes. Uh, not that I would shoot a skunk ape, but I'm, if somebody was out here trying to jerk my chain, I just might shoot them. This is as important to remember about skunk apes, is a skunk ape, in my opinion, relies totally on instinct. They have instinctual behavior. If it's hot, they don't touch it. You know, they, it's just instinct. Uh, they, uh, they're an animal. I don't, haven't found any human characteristics whatsoever other than the appearance, which is somewhat human-like. There, there's a lot of area, a lot of wild lands out there that, uh, you know, anything's possible. I would say they've evolved a little bit more, not so much more intelligent. I've seen some giant gators, you know, that doesn't mean that other things can't get giant, too. It's just an animal. I just have to keep telling myself that because you, I never, when I set out and look, I don't think, well, I'm going looking for a particular person. I always do it on the basis of an animal. That's what I do. Big areas have been fenced off from the public, huge areas. So they give all kinds of reasons for it. You can't, you're not supposed to climb over a 12-foot fence to get into a restricted area. Why is there barbed wire on top of the fencing that's designed to keep people out? That's what the fences are for. That's a bunch of government hype for security, to keep people out or something in. See what I'm saying? Because what they're doing now is just ridiculous. I've seen it. I'm 66 years old. I was born here and I've, I've hunted and fished in the Everglades all my life. And I can tell you what the government's doing to the Everglades is criminal. Right when I was having my sightings, I took the pictures. I heard helicopters about 9 o'clock at night. An hour later, it was still there. It went down a couple times. Four hours. I found the uh, park ranger's ball cap, like a little, says, Scott says National Park Service on it. I don't speak for the park, sir. Something fishy is definitely going on here. It's a hiding something. Uh, let me call up the chief of interpretation. It don't make sense. Stories of the skunk ape go back to the, the Seminole Indians, and even before them, the Calusas. My father uh, was also a skunk ape researcher. He was one of the first. They've been around here a long time, as long as man. There's a lot of people that just have a hard time with the skunk ape. I've got new stuff, fresh stuff. I've got 
digital footage. If I thought that I could house one properly, it might be a consideration. When they start talking about killing skunk apes, you know, that's to me, it's kind of crossing the line. But unfortunately for me, if that ever happens, I'll never see the animal. It'll be whisked away to some government facility. It won't be something I have on display, I can assure you of that.